Okay, um, so we've read the book uh, Furnace Lockdown, and uh, the plot is mainly about this guy who gets uh, framed for uh, committing a murder which he didn't, and he gets sent to a prison for uh, children that has some sort of monsters in it. And okay, so we have read the 1984 by uh, George Orwell. And, uh, the book is about a certain agent, Winston Smith. Fahrenheit 451, the temperature at which book paper catches fire and burns. Guy Montag is a fireman who burns books in a futuristic world that's under suppression by the government. Uh, Fahrenheit 451 is about uh, the fireman burns books because uh, literature is forbidden So and uh, houses are uh, fireproof. So. The ta task the fireman has is to burn books. Uh, Hunger Games is about uh, uh, the government is hosting a sort of game every year where 24 children is competing against each other and uh, the last man standing in the arena is the winner. Hunger Games is ba basically yeah, a dystopia where the government is ruling nearly everything. And yeah, these 12 districts are getting one child to to compete in the in the Hunger Hun Games once a year, and the one who survives gets the fame and gets the prizes to the district. And it's about uh, it takes place far into the future, where uh, you're not you're no longer giving birth and stuff. You're like making people in a, in balls. And everybody is like brainwashed, and they create like clones who just do all the hard work in the world. And those to keep everybody ha happy, they're like giving them a drug called Soma. They to make a puzzle game, who resembles a book uh, in the sense that, being, uh, that you feel being watched all the time. Uh, you uh, will spawn the agent Winston Smith in the middle of the maze. Uh, with a mission to get out from there. Something in the book. It's like uh, you get the feeling that it's like a big city with houses everywhere that's fireproof. Uh, it's Alex Sawyer, and uh, he's what is it, four, 14 years old. And uh, in the book, you can almost tell right away that he's a he's a child. He doesn't know better than uh, uh, what he's doing at what he's doing. We, it, in the book, it was um, a prison, so we tried to recreate it. Um, we recreated um, the first part uh, where he was in his cell and he's trying to break out. We decided to make more uh, like a platform game. Yeah. Um, like Super Mario, yes. when you move around, the background will follow. Uh, we were thinking about to uh, create an uh, adventure game that you see from above. Uh, Katniss, who attacks with a bow, move up and down and uh, gonna shoot like animals to get some food. That's basically what my game is about. You are the director, a uh, high profile person who runs around and gives drugs to people to keep them happy. And you read much more carefully than you would do otherwise because you wanted to get all the information from the book to make it as a good game as possible. Yeah. We have learned to read the book on another perspective, uh, more to suit the game and uh, more to uh, surroundings and environment. Or, so, and we have been better to program. Uh, I, I learned that uh, you have to cherish your time more than I did. If, if you're planning to program a game, and uh, you have to read a book to do it. So that, then you, you you look more at the little detail, the little details instead of the big plots or something. You, you try to find the exciting things that make, would make a good game. What did you learn from the project? When I read the book, I usually don't uh, care too much about the surroundings. But now when I read it, I. Uh, we have a lot more about the surroundings and how we could recreate the game.
like that. This is Tetris. He has an arrow and a bow. And, uh, and uh, when, you're, when you complete the, the task, you can uh, uh, continue. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little wrong, but you go into the houses and move some objects and see if you can find any books. And if you find a book, you should, should fire on it and yeah. see. If you move this up and down with W and S, and that's just a bot who moves up and down too. And I've not created a sprite for the arrow though, but I have made a mechanics for shooting. When you press enter, you should shoot, but it doesn't stop, you see. But that's quite as far as I got with this game. So the animation is pretty bad, but you're just running around and the health bars or happiness goes down faster and faster as the game progresses. And you just keep them up. And if they die, yeah, it's game up. Well, this is the game. Uh, this is the main character, Alex. Can somebody point, point him out? Right there. And he's angry too. <laughs> yeah, that's the dog and the, the prison guard. Who made them that they're gonna follow you if they get if you get too close. Yeah. And these are supposed to be cell and dogs or the guards. Because then you die. You can walk around and uh, shoot fire and uh, if you go to a house with a red door that is evil and has books then you, if you shoot fire then the house catches on fire <laughs> you can walk around the world and uh, your mission is to burn all the houses with the red doors <laughs>